Hi guys, long time no see, and um, I apologize for that, but yay, I'm back now. So, I have a long list of questions here because I've missed so many videos, so let's just get started. And ignore my hair today, I don't know what's going on with that. Whatever. Oh, and I'm downstairs today, just something different, I don't know. Um, Alright, super strong or super fast? I would say super fast because you can get more, you can do more that way. Super strong, I, that would be cool, but if you're super fast you can get more stuff done in a shorter amount of time and that would be awesome. Uh, how do you meet new people? Uh, I'd say what Christine said you go to clubs and stuff, find people with common interests because from my experience just going to class isn't going to cut it. Um, I, I've been going to class for like a month and a half now and I haven't talked to like anybody at all. It's pretty sad. I just have my old friends that are all across the country now because we're all in college. So, ugh. yeah, I'm going to need to find some clubs to meet people. Have you had a concussion? I have not had a concussion. I don't pass out, so it's not, like, a big problem for me. My sister almost had a concussion. She rides horses, and she was thrown off the horse. Luckily, she was fine. She was wearing her helmet, so um, we just had to buy a new helmet because it was really messed up. Uh, yeah. Plans for the future. How will POTS affect this? I would love to go to school full-time and pick a major, but it's not really possible right now. I go to one class a day, and I am just exhausted by the end. Like, my mental capacity is not what it should be, uh, so my POTS definitely affects my want to go to a four-year school and pick a major. Right now I'm just doing random classes at a two-year school. Um, what are you doing for Halloween? I still go trick-or-treating. Yes, um, I'm 19 and I still go trick-or-treating. I will not stop trick-or-treating until they say no to me, the people. They loved our costume last year, me and my friend go. They loved our costume last year. I was in a wheelchair because I can't walk that far for that long. And we incorporated that into the costume. So I was a patient in a wheelchair and my friend was a doctor and she wheeled me around. And everyone loved it, and they didn't say how old we were, they didn't care, they loved our outfit. And I'd say that's the easiest way to get away with trick-or-treating when you're older, is picking a really awesome costume, because then people won't be as bothered by how old you are. Um, favorite current song? I'm going to have to look this up. I think it would be Uh. <laughs> that's the name of the song. I will link it below. I can't pronounce the people that sing it, but it is so fun. I love it. I'll just put it down there. What does your room look like? Okay, this is probably why I haven't made a video in so long. Also because I've had technical issues. My computer has been gone for a while. The downstairs one. That's where I upload. Um, I filmed a whole room tour. It's like 15 minutes long and I need to upload it on my personal channel. So I will let you guys know when it's up. I need to find my flash drive to put it up, but I can't find my flash drive anywhere. So I'll tell you when it's ready. How does your school deal with your dysautonomia? Um, I'm gonna go back to my high school days and talk about my high school. Because college, they don't really care. Um, my high school was amazing. I am so grateful I didn't have any problems. I shortened my schedule down to 
three and a half classes. That's the most you needed to be in school, I think, to graduate. And that's all the credits that I needed. I didn't take any extra classes. I had to cut all of them out, which I was kind of upset because I really liked a lot of them. Like my video class, the video editing class. I was trying to get into that class for four years, and the year I finally got in, I had to cut it out because I got sick, so that's not fun. Same with band. I missed band a lot, but I couldn't do it. Um, and they were so nice. The nurse said mm, she's dealt with people that had pots in the school, but she can't tell me who because that's like a legal thing. I was really curious because I didn't know anybody, but so she was nice. I went to the nurse once because I had an attack and she was really nice and that was awesome. And for tests, I got accommodations. I was in a conference room with like the big puffy chairs and I could, I think, I don't think I had extra time, but... I could have as many breaks as I wanted for tests. Um, when I was sick out of school, they were totally understanding. Um, all my teachers helped me get my stuff under control, all my missed work. It was really nice. Um, I feel bad for all you guys that are having problems because I, I wouldn't be able to deal with that. That's not fun. So my school, my high school was really awesome. They did a really great job. Are you going or have you been to homecoming? I used to go to homecoming. I used to go to all the homecomings every year. Last year, when I was a senior, I didn't because I was sick and I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't want to deal with it. Um, homecoming used to be fun. They weren't so fun after a while. It's just a, like a big dance where everyone's dressed up. We have dances where everyone's not dressed up, too. But I liked dressing up. That's the fun part. But being there, I like seeing your friends. But I'd rather hang out with my friends at home. I don't know. I So I've been. I didn't go last year. That's the only year I didn't go. Um, do you have siblings? I do. I have two sisters and a brother. I'm the oldest, and then next is Caitlin, and then after that is Amanda, and then after that is Jared, and I'll probably put pictures or something in here. So, um, those are all the questions that I have written down, uh, and then the room tour will be up as soon as I can, and I will put my favorite song down below. My question, does the cold weather make you sick? Like the changes in the barometric pressure when the weather gets colder, does that make you sick? Because I have huge problems with this. and. No one really knows why. I've been going to a neurologist, and he told us to go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, so we did that, and he saw nothing wrong with me, but I get so many pressure headaches, and my ears just hurt, and nobody knows why. Uh, and I just am so achy when it's cold and when it rains. When the pressure changes, I just get sick. So I want to know if you guys have these problems. Um, I will see you next week. And stay healthy. Bye.